Yeah, Rite Aid. Why am I here at Rite Aid? Well, because my wife, Jerry, went to the doctor's today, and she has, her blood pressure was 190 over 72, or one over 180 over 72 or something, something crazy, something really high. So, the doctor prescribed her more blood pressure medicine, but here's the thing. My wife has been taking blood pressure blood pressure medicine for a while, but she ran out. She didn't think that she needed it. She thought that she could do without blood pressure medicine. And she, well, she's stubborn. Now, they always say guys are stubborn because we don't go to the doctors, and, and I agree, that's true. But I think females are stubborn too. And I think they need to realize that when your body tells you something's wrong, it pretty much means it's something wrong. So, I'll see if she want to talk about it or not, but if not, you know the news, so make sure you comment below and get on her case that she needs to take care of her body. She don't listen to me. Okay, so um, she doesn't want to talk about it right now, but maybe she will, maybe she won't. She knows she's wrong. But anywho, uh, we are making another meal, um, so we're going to show you guys what it is. It looked pretty good, so I'm eager to find out. So what's going on? What's First of all, what's the meal called? Taco salad ring. Taco salad ring, okay. So what do you gotta do? Basically all I'm doing is using my Pampered Chef um, pizza zent stone and we are using crescent um, rolls and we're just lining them up around the pizza stone like you see. And what I need to do, if you're willing to do that for me George, you can work with me, is preheat the oven to 375 for me. <laughs> this is so embarrassing because I don't have to preheat the oven. Because he's spoiled! Well, what button do I hit? What button do I hit? Bake. Oh, here it is. And then set temperature to 350? 375! Oh, you said 375. Push. 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 What? Oh, push start. Oh. Hey, that was easy. <laughs> yes, I don't use the oven often. Actually, I just use the stove. I don't probably ever use, I don't use the oven at all. So. It is, well, let me tell you something while she's doing that. It is pretty cute. Here, got the stove on top of here. And here, this door right here is actual the microwave. You ever seen you ever seen one like that before? Just thought that there. <laughs> and right now, what I'm doing is why the oven's preheating is we're going to brown our ground beef. And just in case you guys don't know, this is a Pamper Chef recipe. Um, I'm tweaking it a little bit. Um, to make it a little healthier because um, because of our diet we have to eat healthier. <laughs> yeah, that's we're gonna use. leave it at that. <laughs> that's useful to use. So and it's then, not Weight Watchers; it's Pamper Chef. And then we're just gonna add a um, a packet of taco seasoning. And then I always use fresh garlic. Fresh garlic is better for you than the jars because two reasons. One, it's healthier, it's fresher, and it doesn't have additives and preservatives in it, so you don't have to worry about it setting on the shelves for um, a long period of time, and it's just healthier to eat. And they say if you have high blood pressure, garlic's good for you. Hmm, so, interesting. But I've always eaten garlic, so, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily true. So we're going to use two garlic groves here and just add a little bit to give it some taste. I'm going to mix it all together. Now as you can see on the back, I have some Mexican corn. Um, people make their tacos um, different, so I figured we got to have our vegetables, so we're going to add um, some corn on top of our tacos. So we're going to make it more of a Mexican style. Um, taco, even though tacos are Mexican. So instead of it being American taco, it's going to be a Mexican taco. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to add some pepper. I don't add salt to any of my food. Um, never have. I don't actually like salt. So, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, because you'd probably be dead now with that, that making high blood pressure. Didn't know you were going to get doctor's advice in um, a cooking show, huh? <laughs> I 
I'm not going to let this down for a while. I can see this. All right, so while she's doing that, there's nothing else. Is there um, nothing else to be done until that's all brown? Not until this is all brown. Correct. Okay. Okay? All right. And we'll get back to you. All right, I browned the ground beef, and I use lean ground beef um, primarily because you don't want a lot of grease in it. So we already made it brown, and all we're going to do is scoop that around the ring. Some of it will get on the stone, that's perfectly fine. And then, um, can you get, get the cheese for me, baby? This is supposed to be all about her, right? Her doing her stuff, but yet I'm over here doing it. I'm over here doing hey, it. Hey, I'm new at this, alright? Sorry, guys. Okay, then once you get all your ground beef around the ring, you sprinkle some cheese on it. Now, I'm not using a lot of cheese. Um, my family would love for me to, but yes. it's unhealthy. Mm. So, I'm limited their, their intake of cheese. Whatever. So, basically all you do is just take the ends and just fold them over. Now just a little reminder, George preheated the oven at 375. It takes 15 minutes to bake. And the prep time for everything all together, this meal takes about 20 minutes. So I it's a it's very... Very, well, no, 15 minutes to bake and 5 minutes oh, prep but time. Oh, the 5 minute prep. Yeah. Yeah, so 20 minute total meal. 20 minute total meal. Five minutes that's of prep. quick and easy to make. So we're just going to put that in the oven for 15 minutes. And then we will see what it looks like when it's all done. So I just pulled it out of the oven, and as you can see, it's a golden brown. And what I went ahead and did, we didn't have to do nothing with sour cream. I did um, already cut up some lettuce, and there's our Mexican corn. Now I went ahead because this takes a little bit of time and I went and did some of the tomatoes. But just to let you know about our mandolin, our mandolin is a great tool when you need something done really quick and easy. All you do is glide it up and down and you get mushy tomatoes, which is great for tacos. Now the nice thing about this recipe is you can do it any way you want. You can add guacamole, you can add black olives, whatever you like on your tacos. Um, my family's plain Jane, so we don't do all that fancy stuff. You can see it's kind of blah. And I'm just going to uh, cut it up. I'm gonna, who do I let taste it? <laughs> well, let's see. Why don't you taste it? All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna add some lettuce to it, like so. I'm going to add some tomatoes. I'm going to add some sour cream. And then to top it off with my vegetables, some Mexican corn. And there's your simple and easy um, dinner to make. Like I said, um, it's very simple. Pretty much everybody likes it. And... Uh, I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of cooking uh, demonstration that I did. Zach, you want to? All right, George clicked off before I got him to taste it. So I'm going to go ahead and taste it. He'll give you his honest opinion. Trust me, he will. And it will be hot. Yep. Oh, I like this. this All right. Really I guess it's a keeper. Definitely. All right, guys. Make your comments below. Tell me... um. If you like the recipe, if you want me to continue doing different recipes or what. All right, see ya.